Welcome back to Nat 20, a special episode called Drunkards and Dragons. Uh, we're continuing on f with our campaign, Eldrick Manor. Uh, last time in our campaign, our party set off from the village of Fotley, having been hired by the townspeople to investigate Eldrick Manor. Uh, the inhabitants of Eldrick Manor perished to the plague uh, a few weeks prior to the party's arrival. And despite the manor being empty, one of the shepherd's boys had reported hearing screams coming from the manor. The party was hired by the townspeople to go and check it out. Um, upon traveling to the manor, they fought off a band of wolves and saved the shepherd's flock. And upon entering the manor, they disarmed a trap on the front door, encountered the butler, and are about to investigate the interior of the house. And Charlotte stole the butler's pocket watch. Uh, by the way, I named my construct raven Artemis. I like it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what are you guys doing? We're heading for Philippe's room, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm naming my raven. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job. Alright, anyway, yeah, we're going to head for Come on, uh, when you have to room. say yourself, that's a good joke. It means a good joke. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, well, as me and Rowan are heading towards the, the center, center door, right? Center door. Center door to talk to Philippe. I'm going to send my pseudo-dragon, Jinx, out to uh, search the rest of the building. Okay. What he can find. And right. he can telepathically communicate to me within a mile. Are you sending him to a specific portion of the house, or are you just sending him all around to see what he sees? Uh, I'll send him around, like, the second floor and further up if you can go further up but other, other than that okay. just that all right from where you're at right now um the balcony that you're on is really the highest point you can go to maybe you might be able to find a staircase going further up inside one of the rooms but uh jinx can't access it because they're all behind locked doors okay so what he can do is go around the main floor maybe check out the dining room in the kitchen is there a cellar Every old Victorian style mattress. The screen is part of that shaft of fleet. There's good <laughs> shit in cellars. <laughs> or there's just wine. Like what? Yellow mold? Or so good shit. You guys are a bunch of drunks. I love you. Or the entire <laughs> family could be down there. <laughs> Tied up. <laughs> Reginald did it. The butler did it. That's the entire plot of my campaign. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> or they died from the plague. <laughs> Supposedly they did, but they didn't. Yeah. Mm. Oh, also, Doctor Desiris injected tar into Luke's uh, <laughs> body. What was an unknown liquid? It could help him. It could not. Yeah, I, I cured him with the plague, though. Or no. His arm or something. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of flicking my arm. It's not really doing anything. My arm like, isn't moving. Did he even give me anything? Was it a, is it a little numb? I don't know. Feels Your arm is fine. As you walk up the stairs, though, you feel your heart just kind of... <laughs> a little and just do something as normal. So you're a little alarmed. But nothing definitive has happened I, yet. I kind of <laughs> my jets, just like, keep working. <laughs> I just act like nothing's happening. The doctor just gives drink cholesterol. <laughs> Did you want your pseudo dragon to go into the main floor? Yeah, you can search the main floor too. Alright. Uh, uh, just do a uh, investigation of perception check with your pseudo dragon. 14. Do you speak Draconic? Like, can you communicate with him? He, he understands common Draconic, and he can uh, communicate what it sees and hears over long distances. Okay. All right, so what you're picking up from Jinx, he flies down into the main floor where you guys entered the house and doesn't see anything really of note there besides the giant double doors. But he can't get through them, so he flies into the dining room um, he sees there's two place settings set out on the dining table, and a few candles have been lit. Very nice polish, uh, silverware and fine china plates. Um, nothing really of 
interest here though. I mean, okay. a few trinkets on the on the shelves if you're looking for anything of actual gold value. Um, he does fly into the kitchen and almost gets swatted by Reginald. He's cooking. <laughs> he gets almost taken out with a ladle. Um, notices this enormous fancy cake on the counter. Fuck. And um, what kind of cake? He's a dragon. I don't know if he knows different types of cake. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> color is the cake? The cake is brown. <laughs> okay. Uh, Probably chocolate. <laughs> Maybe. Chalk is not canon. Chalk is not canon. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked myself. Oh no. That kid was lying! <laughs> Sorry, it's rust brown. Okay. Okay. What does that mean? The raisin. <laughs> it's a character. <laughs> raisin cake. Awesome. He does see a wooden trap door leading down further and somewhere. I don't okay. know how Reginald Sorry. is so calm about a fucking dragon. <laughs> he tried to him. swat him with Layla. I know, but like, he'll call out for help and be like, oh, yo, there's a dragon downstairs. Yo, it's, it's, it's a tiny it's dragon. dragon. Yeah. <laughs> I remember what I saw. This old Reginald eyes were like, is oh, it damn hmm? bugs. Hmm? Is it a petite dragon? Yeah. They're like cat size, I think. I yeah. thought they were like the size of like, a cat. It's cloud. small enough to just like be sitting on my shoulder when yeah. it's not yeah. flying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You can't see when you're looking through them, though, right? That's how it works with familiars. You go blind when you're looking through them. I want it. I just want to know. Yeah, but the pseudo dragon can actually communicate with them over long distances. Yeah. Oh, can it? Oh, so you don't see? You're just getting like okay, gotcha. Yeah, I can perceive through its senses if I choose to do so, yeah. but otherwise it's just communicating to me. Okay, cool. I want to know if you're blind right now, just for scientific <laughs> science. Yep. Okay. As for the rest of you walking up uh, towards Philippe's room, you try the door and it is locked. I knock. I pick the lock. There's no answer. Are you. You didn't have these tools? No! Yo, let me take the lock. <laughs> yeah, I step back, I step back, I say, whoa, 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 whoa. Mind her little doll. You guys, we need to get in this door. I can pick it. And I try to just kick it down. So. It's, it's like a heavy metal. Oh, I, like I say, I can do that, and I pull out my my mace. I pull out my piece. And I, I click I, 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 button uh, five. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> sir, 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 sir. Uh, my friend, my friend. Just and at, see least my at least let me try. Turn to do it into a batting I, ram. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Let us try to. I'll let you go first, but we got a plan B. <laughs> you just wanted to flex, didn't you? <laughs> that, that was such a. Mighty rod of okay, the Lord right. Mystery. Like, um, <laughs> a few school strike, I guess. I'll open up a dimension door. Shit. <laughs> dimension door to uh, a yeah, yeah. It, it just has to be a. You, you uh, can specify how yeah, far away and what I'm direction. So it can be a place you see, one you can oh, visualize, or one you can describe by saying sure. the distance and direction. So it's 200 feet straight forward. Okay. What happens if you dimension door into something? You take like then you take damage, right? 46 force damage. Okay. That's a fucking oof right there. <laughs> okay, so while I I, I run an 18. Door. Is that close to proficiency? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's the end. Right. Okay. Yeah, you would be able to work. However, Rowan is up Rowan yeah. is already inside, having <laughs> Dimension Door inside the room. I go, <laughs> <laughs> you fancy bastard. <laughs> Congratulations on wasting a spell slot. <laughs> right. Hey, I got here before you guys did. Why is this a race to everyone? I'm so confused. I drop the act. <laughs> there is no bed. The room is completely empty. We're sleep. Except for a giant pile of dirt in one corner of the room. I poke it. I wow. I sleep. Sleeping is my thing. It seems I'll, like we've been beamed. I investigate the room for clues. I have beans. <laughs> oh, no, you're fucking beans. Yeah, so you guys are talking about the room, making a ruckus. I say I was saying. With <laughs> Luke saying outside, you hear a groan, and the dirt shifts, and from the pile of dirt rises a pale figure. Fucking Can I push this figure aside? You I'm can... investigating here. I need no distractions. 
You can push him if you want to. I, well, I, I'm just kidding. I will approach it, though. I'll be like, hey, are you the leap? I am. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> My name is Zoro. I'm an investigator. I'm here to investigate the murder of your family. Zoro? Zoro. Zora. No. So-ar-o. S-O-R-O. S-O-R-O. Zoro. Swar. Sorry. Who are you people? We are here to investigate your family's deaths, or what seem to be your family's deaths. According to and the, the screaming and howling that has been coming from your home here. Ah, the screaming. That yes. would be my sister. Oh, is Philippe alive? Philippe is a vampire. I knew it. <laughs> we should I have thought fucking it. knew it. As soon as we came out of this fucking house, I knew it. <laughs> Philippe, I have but several questions. <laughs> I have several questions as well. Why are you people in my bedroom? <laughs> like I said, we are investigating what we thought was your family's deaths oh, right. and the screaming. Said and Reginald said we should talk to you. Reginald let you in here? Yes. I should fire that bastard. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> we kind of just walked through the I door. I watch. This fucker has nothing. <laughs> Why would you I think watch. Oh, well, he's going to probably die of the plague. <laughs> that was a so, gift from my father. What? You <laughs> stole that watch, Charlotte? I've got a bad sense of time. <laughs> I need it. Whatever. We'll, we'll come back to this. We'll circle around. Philippe, Reginald said that if we had any questions, we should ask you for answers. And that you would supply them. Okay. So, Philippe, we have at least four or seventeen questions we need to ask. Alright, let's... I just woke up. First of all, why are you a ma- Why are you, like, the ghost that came from Mound... I'm not a ghost. <laughs> what I'm a was vampire. that sentence structure? <laughs> it's just like it's like a mound of dirt, and he just came up from it. Yeah, so why are you ghosts? Inside the dirt pile, sleeping oh, okay. in the dirt pile. Oh, okay. so why are you Did ghosts? Does the mound have good structure to it? Like how deep? Was he laying? Was he like, he like just this? <laughs> he just in the ball. What? Your rich family couldn't afford a car or something? You don't know. What happened to this family? We don't. That's why we're here. All is right. there a window in this room? <laughs> I walk up. I put a hand on his shoulder and I say, Fleet, you are aware that you are dead, yes? Yes, I'm aware. There is a window, but it's boarded up. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Fleet. Okay. Let's. Fleet, how did you die? Stop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. Let's have some dinner. And we can talk. I'm sorry I don't drink human blood. Neither do I. What are you? Let's go downstairs. <laughs> no, say it out loud. He walks <laughs> out of his bedroom. You're a vampire. You're in denial. It turns into a bat and flies <laughs> into the Edward. dining room. Ooh, Edward. That fucker got us. <laughs> I'm just leaning against the, the banister, feeding my, feeding uh, Jinx. Just kind of listening to this transpire and just see the bat fly past me. I don't know. Okay. Hey, can your tra- dragon go and get the bat? <laughs> <laughs> I turn to the other side. I mean, probably. I turn to the other side and I say, we should leave. There are vampires here. They're, this is not what we signed up for. Or not what I signed up for. This is an adventure. We should be investigating. We should be fighting. We should be trying to figure out what's happening. It's an adventure. I bet there's yeah. some really awesome stuff behind those big doors. <laughs> Can we go to the doors, guys? Can I investigate the rest of the room? Maybe we could... Yes. Make an investigation check. Maybe we could split up. I'm going to try and help this fan. I'm with Daphne. (laughs) So I want a bone. (laughs) Oof. Who's Daphne? I rolled the tree. Okay. Looking around the room, you see scuff marks on the floor and a few dings on the walls from where you presume it's like furniture being moved around and being taken out of the room. And you also see like a trail of dirt kind of leading up into the room towards the pile. Um, there isn't really anything of note besides that there's nothing on the walls. You don't find any secret compartments or anything like that. It's just a bare room with a pile of dirt that he's been sleeping in. There's nothing in the dirt? There's nothing in the Should dirt. Should we sip it? You can sip through the dirt. <laughs> Charlotte, <laughs> that's rude. That's a man's <laughs> bed. <laughs> you mustn't mess with another man's sleeping quarters. That's impolite. I rest my case. <laughs> um, do we want to go down and dine with this vampire and his bullshit butler? I'm, I'm already on my should. way. 
I don't trust him. I will continue to investigate if that's alright. Of course. I'll be, uh, uh, Rowan goes downstairs. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna investigate that. I'm gonna on my way. Okay. I have no patience for the conversation, so I go over to the ornate doors. Okay. <laughs> so you're <laughs> investigating and... with me, essentially. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to be <laughs> Tony shoots up in the corner. It's up to you, Doctor. <laughs> would you like to point as pleasantries and possible more lies, or would you like to investigate the big doors? <laughs> and other I'm, places of I'm going to investigate as well. I'm intrigued. Thank you. You're going to investigate the big doors? Yeah. Is it really long? Is that yes. All three of you are going as we to depart, yeah, I, turn to, uh, I turn to Charlotte <laughs> and Dr. Desserts and I say, I don't know about you guys, but I think we're the real trio of power here. Is that is that other man acting all the time? Or is he, is he himself? I don't know. I don't quite follow. I get a, a vibe of falsehood from him, but also maybe, maybe sadness. His, <laughs> maybe his mind is corrupt from the blank. Tony, what's your medicine bonus? Uh, plus seven. Oh, that's that's decent. decent. How do you? How do I have better medicine? Than you? <laughs> You're yeah. a fucking doctor. Yeah, but I don't know. You plus have intelligence. Oh, uh, okay. I guess. Uh, it was higher, but then when I switched it, because it was oh, yeah, wisdom, see, right? So when I switched from the cleric to... That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, shit, I forgot to look at the tits. <laughs> I don't think the tits are in here. <laughs> are <they>? Your tits. <laughs> tits. Okay. I've got All disguise. Right. Okay. What my tits look like. <laughs> <laughs> so, the two of you walk into the dining room where Philippe is waiting. Um, the butler is still in the kitchen. Reginald is still in the kitchen. <laughs> Philippe, upon noticing that only two of you have entered the dining room, <laughs> walks out of the dining room, sees the three of you about to approach the ornate doors, and clears his throat. <clears throat> what do you want? Don't make me cuff you. Please. Please refrain from touching things that you know nothing about. Just, mm. we can talk, and actually I think you might be able to help me. You'll get all the answers you need. Your butler lied to us once. I'm not really... He's very cautious and very good at his job. Leave him be. He's an old man. By being a butt? Wow, (laughs) doctor. Wow. (laughs) Listen, (laughs) listen, sir. I'll sit down with you, but if I hear one falsehood slip past your lips, I give him a, a, Um, a suggestive glance of rage. Suggestive rage? What? (laughs) Just, I suggest there will be consequences. (laughs) Um, I say, all right, and I like start to head down, but I leave my construct raven Artemis behind, and I whisper to him to still investigate upstairs. Okay. And he sneaks out without me. And I say, without the <laughs> um, <laughs> god mounting much. Can you roll a stealth check for Artemis, please? Does, does Artemis even have stats? Uh, he's, ravens. he's a raven. So okay. I can get his right now. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure the are, they, are they walking away? Well, they're walking still. towards him, presumably. Um, I don't know what they're doing. Raven there. has 14 decks, so plus 2 to still throw. Okay. Uh, 13. Philippe does notice, <laughs> but doesn't say anything about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess I wouldn't know any better, so I just, I like walk away and he kind of, the Artemis just kind of like walks up from underneath my clothes so you like, see like you kind of pull away and he, like, he kind of just walk off the line. Um, as we, as we, I um, imagine just pigeon from my case of mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> as we um, leave the, uh, the big doors, I cast the detect magic. Sure. See if it's magical. That's a 30 foot radius, right? Uh, yeah, yes. So, so. Oh, 30 foot, Ooh, yeah. It yeah. cannot detect magic through solid surfaces, though. I want to see if the doors yeah, themselves yeah. are magic. It's like thick wood or thin coating of lead or whatever. What's the um, restriction on that? Restriction? What do you mean? Like, it, it, it says there, like, it can't oh. detect magic through whatever. The stone can penetrate stone. most barriers, but it is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common metal. A thin sheet of lead or three feet of wood or dirt. He's trying to detect the doors out. You detect well, the detect doors. the doors, and if I can see a little bit past them, yeah. sure. Okay. Uh, you don't notice anything on the other side of the doors. The doors themselves are not magical in any way. Is there anything else magical? 
Uh, you notice the magical lock on the front door, the the trap that you disengaged through literal shit house luck. Um, <laughs> That's why you always fuck with the gargoyles, <laughs> the wolves. Um, you also notice your party's assortment of magical items, as well as a figurine of wondrous power in your pocket. Yeah, but beyond that, no, there's not. Right, good. So it will be just a simple lock. Well, not simple, but it's not magic. magic. I guess uh, since you won't stop pestering of us about it, I will follow the vampire into his dining area. Okay. Are you going to Dr. Whatever this is? Dr. Jesus. <laughs> Are you going to the thing with us, Tony? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Like downstairs. Yeah, yeah, I said I was walking yeah, downstairs. So I wasn't sure if you said you were going. No. Yeah. Charlotte, are you coming too? Um, I walk slightly behind Philippe and. <laughs> Philippe isn't walking. Philippe is standing by the entrance and watching you guys. <laughs> then I head towards him. Towards him. Okay. With the rest of them. Okay. Do you already Please lose? don't pick up the man. <laughs> you guys. Don't pick on the man. Don't pick pocket the vampire. Don't pick pocket the vampire. Really open us up. We're going to take Okay. Well, plus 15. Okay. All right. Sweet God. Since I don't have any fine dining experience, as soon as I enter the dining room, I'm going to take a seat. I yelled to Philippe, Hey, Philippe! <laughs> G- get me a plate and something to quench my thirst. Reginald, <laughs> <laughs> could you please set out a few more play settings for our distinguished guests? <laughs> Hearing this round is like, what the hell? <laughs> Who is this dude? <laughs> Give me a plate and something to quench my thirst. I am the guest who broke into your house. <laughs> Reginald does come out of the kitchen wearing an apron that says kiss the cook. <laughs> <laughs> and holding a ladle in one hand with six serving, uh, six play settings somehow balanced in his left hand. Six? Six? Sorry, five. Is, he, is he left handed? I don't know. <laughs> That'll come in handy for a later trip <laughs> But he's holding his label in his right hand, and the play setting is in his left hand. The plate's in one hand? Does he, does he have a tray? He does not have a tray. Ooh. <laughs> and he's got all the cutlery perfectly centered in each plate. That's amazing. I can only carry five at once. Wait, five. wait four. Yes. Yeah. Three in one hand, and then one on the arm. Yeah. I can do. You know, he's got all five in one hand. That's bullshit. <laughs> 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 He's a professional. Yeah, I'm a professional. Are they just okay. Like Are they dessert plates? No, they're, they're like dining plates. Okay. 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 He got like seven fingers on one hand. It's not safe. It's just it's more really crazy. <laughs> <down. laughs> There's absolutely no way, Duncan. He's extremely this man, good at his job. There's very good and there's just fucking fake bullshit you're spewing. There's no way the man's carrying five <laughs> plates in one hand. You can cast Fireball. I guess you can balance five play settings in one okay, hand. He can at least be fucking realistic saying <laughs> one's on his arm, no. not all five in his hand. He's got all five in his hand. <laughs> Reginald's a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Maybe they're smaller plates. Why are you so no, salty said- about being a... A worse server. <laughs> <laughs> no one can carry five plates. <laughs> okay, well, fuck you, you can. Okay. <laughs> anyway. You're a fucking liar. Point is, he puts up five more play settings for all of you. You guys can sit down at the table and you guys can eat dinner with Philly. What's for dinner? I started eating. <laughs> oh, yeah. What kind of goat? Mutton chops. Nice. nice. That's actually sheep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> gross man. lamb shanks lamb shank that's there thank you you're, you're having that's still not going <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck that <laughs> you're having kid shanks <laughs> goat shank okay it's just it's a, it's a roast it's I've a never roast goat. eaten goat before this is quite a peculiar <laughs> experience uh, I don't think I like it <laughs> I've had goat milk never meat though Philippe looks very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> I also feel uncomfortable, Philippe. Okay, anyway. Uh, oh, but very good, settings. very right. good. He puts out the food. You guys dig in. It's actually delicious. Pardon me. Uh, uh, before we eat, <laughs> um, how, what condition is like the k- kitchen, like the dining room, right? Is everything like... Everything is time? pristine. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I do a check to see at all if there's any sort of like... Like, if the room is, uh... Haunted by the plague? Yeah. Haunted by the plague. 
Does that have my mask on it? So like, no. I'm. Do your medicine check. You have advantage. Uh, sixteen. Not a trace of the plague. Okay. Not a trace of any disease anywhere in the house. Actually. Well, one dude's a vampire. It's not a disease. It's a curse. Okay. How about you? That's fair. <laughs> Rowan also waits until the host eats before he eats. So this is like customary. Type Halfway thing. through my bowl or whatever we have, <laughs> yeah. snap my fingers to ask for a glass of wine. <laughs> Reginald does come out and starts pouring you all a glass of wine. Uh, Reginald, uh, do you have orange juice at all? <laughs> uh, Paul, this, is, Paul, <laughs> this is real. I actually really want some orange juice right now. Okay, but, uh, but. I forget what Reginald is. <clears throat> uh, no, we do not have orange juice. That's a shame. <laughs> if you have anything other than alcoholic beverages, I usually prefer whiskey sours. If you have whiskey sours, perhaps? <laughs> if I, no, I, if I'm gonna drink alcohol, it's a whiskey sour, is what he's saying, okay? Stop being a pussy. <laughs> As I don't drink whiskey. Finish my wine. This house. We have sour. wine. And we have water. I have water, thank you. Pretty wide. <laughs> I. That's. You're a terrible butler! <laughs> no, you turn the water into wine. <laughs> I, uh. I push the wine over. Well, not over, sorry, just like away. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> but I have some water. He does, things. like, he walked away and he came back with a glass of water for me. Thank you, bro. He was just fucking with you a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, just a cook, <laughs> ah! Yeah. I wink. <laughs> he looks back. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> rolling for a flirt. <laughs> okay, anyway, I asked to be excused with the intentions of sneaking away back to the orange <laughs> doors. I'll roll stealth. Okay, was probably super proud of this whole like interaction. It was nice meeting. Like, <laughs> roll for deception, please. What do you say? Um, can I be excused to use the restroom? Okay. Well, it's it has the uh, sure. it has just like the show that they prefer to do this lavatory. As the um, John. <laughs> Twenty-six. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh. <clears throat> Philippe says, Ah yes. Um It's actually an oh how's outside, you'll have to go outside. Fuck. <laughs> 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 what kind of fancy house <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay. Victorian era. They all had outhouses, I think. I think. I don't I'm know, pretty sure. I don't know that much about that door. That is true. I think. Why? Yeah. They are rich. They had rich. bed pots. I don't think plumbing has been invented yet. Plumbing is not canon. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is shock. <laughs> but yeah, they did have chamber pots. Yeah, that's where I'm But, um. I don't think Philippe is going to let Charlotte use his chamber pot. Or his sister's chamber pot. Or his missing parents' chamber <laughs> pot. Or her Reginald's chamber pot. Reginald gets a chamber pot? Of course, Reginald gets a chamber pot. They treat their fucking butler well. He's, He's a, a butler. butler. He got a pocket watch that he treasured <laughs> from the head of the household. He's a part of the family. <laughs> well, this dude doesn't have his pocket watch. Yeah, anyway, you have to go outside. Go to the I, uh, I, I, after you leave the turn, Reginald, I'm like, can you tell me what time it is? Reginald reaches into his pocket, and you notice for a second, he, like, puffed out his chest with a little bit of pride and straightened up <laughs> and grabbed into his, reached into his pocket. Just... And then you can see his face fall and he starts slapping at his pockets and he says, What's wrong? Nothing. And he walks into the kitchen and you hear things clanking as he starts looking around. As I walk outside, I start thinking, what time is it? <laughs> and look at my pocket watch. Satisfied that it is now one hour until the darkest part of the night. Yes, now it is 11 o'clock. <laughs> um, <laughs> is my crow finally... I <laughs> sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, while you guys have been having dinner and presumably talking to Philippe... Does, you know, yes. Just, does my reading like stealthily just kind of walk <laughs> like around to my feet? I'm also stealth. feeding my pseudo dragon. That's standing on the table. Okay, that's fine. Philippe doesn't bat an eye. Cool. Natural 20. Alright, you rolled the very close. So, <laughs> Artemis comes fucking flying in. <laughs> Lately flying in. Just, you know, kind of high up to the ceiling at this exact second. Philippe is just really digging into his goat. 
No, he dropped his fork and he did it in the table. Well, he's digging into his go. <laughs> he dropped his fork and he did it in the table. Yeah, are you, <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you the DM? Yep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're right, he dropped his fork and he did it in the table. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped his fork and he did it in the Philippe is enjoying his goat immensely. Nice. And is absorbing conversation with you guys and does not notice Artemis fly in. Nice, and he just like swoops down onto my shoulder. Yes, it's that's pretty call. badass actually. Ooh. Nice. And does he let out a little cough after he lands? He does. <laughs> it's, it's very mechanical sounding. Yeah. <laughs> now, would you turn right towards the ornate doors or turn left towards the main door? I. <laughs> It looked like I was going towards the main door, but I pulled a maneuver <laughs> and ended up going towards the ornate doors. So you turn left. <laughs> and then what? Climb in the walls and ceiling and went the other direction? <laughs> no, I took out. Okay. I'm going to take out my fuse tools. Just a roll. A stealth check for me, please. <laughs> 30. <laughs> <Two. laughs> Philippe was watching you like a hawk to make sure you actually turn left. And upon <laughs> seeing you, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you have disadvantage forever. <laughs> at, this, at, at this exact moment, he looks down and digs in, and then, like, he's like fucking crow. Yeah. Flies in and <laughs> he watches you time. turn left towards the main door, and satisfied that you're not trying to mess with him. Turns back to his food, at which point you can just walk across the room <laughs> very stealthily, and he doesn't notice it's at all. Fucking rolls, man. I got a few things that are very, very high. Yes. All right, you're gonna break my fucking cafe, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> That's our job. Yeah, so Justin's first right. time playing. He's like, I'm gonna open this door. <laughs> Sweet, I did it. Um. Does Artemis try to convey to me what he found out? Because he can't... Yeah. I can speak to him when he understands, but he can't speak to me. So would I be able to kind of <laughs> figure it out? He calls at you? Ah! Okay. <laughs> I you don't understand. Come on. <laughs> <Dang ease. laughs> throw, me, throw me a bone. <laughs> they add it picks Morse code yeah. into your show. Roll a perception check for me, please. Okay. Ah. Animal handling. No perception. Uh, 19. Okay. Also, Tony, ravens have mini cry, by the way. What? Ravens have mini cry. That might help you in communicating. Isn't it mini cry? Is it mini cry or mini cry? Yeah, uh, it's mini cry. Mini cry? Yeah. I don't know. So, uh, the raven can mimic simple sounds that is heard, such as a person whispering, a baby crying, or an animal chittering. The creature that hears the sound can tell the imitation to an accessible DC 10 wisdom inside check. Well, this has an imitation, it's not actual words. I know, but. Be like a, He's a level 14 artificer. He's most likely had the raven for quite some time. I'm sure yeah. they figured out some form of communication. Right. Yeah. Right. You a good <laughs> person! No. Why should you know this goat is just a good person? <laughs> Because you know I'm gonna have to edit that out into something. <laughs> oh right, sorry. We're like not of the thing because they like like YouTube catch on to bleeps and like cancels you or whatever. Like you're making money. Yeah, yeah. That's what I listen to, sorry. Yeah, man. Like you know. So, so just you... cut that part. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to cut that part. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, don't forget to cut that part. With I'm not cutting it out, I'm just gonna like merge another word with it. Oh. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> you are a good person! <laughs> <laughs> you are a Christian child! <laughs> you are a good boy! <laughs> you are not swear word! <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm fucking dead. Okay, okay. The raven Roll is right. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> your raven cannot speak. Yeah. It can pretend to speak, but it cannot actually speak. Yeah. However, with your perception check, you were keeping an ear out, and since you rolled pretty high, you could hear your raven flying into doors and stuff. Like, Trying to access places you couldn't access. However, 
It did do a lap of Philippe's room. It didn't find anything you didn't already find. It tried to access the other two bedrooms up there. Couldn't get in. Other than that, it just did a loop. Found even less than <laughs> Luth's <laughs> pseudo dragon. <laughs> and came back to you. Okay. Mission accomplished. It looks um, really proud of itself. <laughs> it does look very proud I, of itself. Uh, I pull out a little bit of oil from my bag of holding and I, I feed it to him. <laughs> he squawks appreciatively. Yes. Ah! <laughs> 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 All right. So after you guys have dug in, Philippe sits up and he says, "So you guys came here for answers? I think you can't just answer again. What did you want to ask me? First of all, uh, I think we're wondering what the screams that have been coming from this building are. Yes, that would be my sister. She uh, a screamer, eh?" <laughs> 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 you're, not, you're not even here. You're, you're at a door. I'm fucking with the door. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. I. I. Uh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, Philippe. Sorry. He straightens his lapel <laughs> and sits up a little straighter and looks at you with a little bit of disdain. <laughs> I get a lot. <laughs> uh, secretly, though, I do fist bump uh, uh, Luth under the table. It'd be easier for me to show you. Just, I'll show you after we finish eating. What What else did you want to know? I don't know about the rest of you, but a question that's really on my mind is: You were once a beloved family of the town. Now you're all, I'm assuming, vampires. You want to explain no. how this came to be? You're not all vampires. I actually am not quite sure how this happened. About three weeks ago, there was <laughs> there was uh, a disturbance in our household. A force. <laughs> um, I don't have any recollection of it, but all I know is that before the night, I was just a normal teenage human boy. Yeah, he was like 18. Oh, that was a grown-ass man. <laughs> Sorry. He was 18. Oh, okay. He's like You've been bamboozled. You could have seduced him. I wish I was a real boy. Is I'm... that what your raven is <laughs> Is your raven, like, a little... Okay, we're getting off track. Stop, we're getting off track. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So, so, you have no idea what caused your vampirism. I have no recollection of it whatsoever. All I know is that I woke up in my room in a pile of dirt, and this this is just the way I was. Were the rest of your family members all vampires, or were they afflicted by different curses? My father and mother disappeared. We got that far. Nobody's heard from them since that night. Do you have any idea where they may have gone to, or who, if someone may have taken them, or anything like that? I personally don't know anything. You might find some clues if you look through their bedroom and the rest of the house, maybe. I'm not really sure. I couldn't gather anything. Do you have any enemies? <laughs> <laughs> enemies. Got a lot of enemies. Do they have any enemies? <laughs> Anyone that would want to hurt them? Said Grissom. <laughs> not to my knowledge. No one who would like you dead or a vampire. <laughs> this, 
this has all been quite a shock for me, I assure you. My family was always quite beloved. My father was a powerful healer. And he always did good, honest business with the people we came across. So, And is there anyone who, like, hated that? <laughs> or disliked your father for doing that? My father went off on many travels. I don't know who he knew. Um, maybe I, uh, he had some enemies. According to my uh, I background, I made an enemy of a sailor. <laughs> Was it this man? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the sailor. I don't know if my father knew the sailor. Did he bring back anything on his travels? He I back... say between spoonfuls. <laughs> oh, I also know a neutral equal human politician that hates me. <laughs> That's very nice. Awesome. He brought back knickknacks and treasures and occasionally magical little trinkets. Did he bring back, like, a stone mask? What? <laughs> Okay, so Jojo reference. Oh, oh. I see. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Bakura. <laughs> um, I asked him. He did not. <laughs> he is, he is. What night yeah, yeah, yeah. are you referring to when you say the night? Like, when you said all yeah, it, it, it was about it was about three weeks ago now. Um, I I don't know. I it's pretty hazy around that time for me. I don't have. Super good recollection of the time period. But it was about three weeks ago. Your sister, why is she screaming and wailing? I can't even begin to describe it. We'll just show you. I'll just show you after um, something. I finished my goat. <laughs> <laughs> Can I uh, take some of your blood to uh, look into no. and see what. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I can help no. you. Uh, are you sure? Maybe it's the flag. Hey, hey, dog, help me out here. I'm not feeling anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait one second. I'm talking, I'm talking to the vampire. So, <laughs> as you're shoveling food into your mouth, you're so zealously eating that you feel your heart murmur again, but stronger. <laughs> It also it passes again, <laughs> but this time it was significantly more noticeable, and you are definitely alarmed. Tony's gonna kill me. I'm totally gonna kill him. That's, <laughs> um, that's why you know, push hard your main skin. <laughs> Can I find out? Hey, Doc, I think this is more pressing. I, you know, I'm not feeling so good. <laughs> What's up? Oh, that's just like I'm about to kick in. <laughs> You'll be fine in no time. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I'm in love. This is great. Um, can I tell if like Phillips like like is there any? Can I look into why he's saying no? Like, is he like? <laughs> yeah, I make an inside check. Yeah. Am I supposed to walk in with the door? Yeah, we'll get to you in a second. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Fourteen. Okay. Based off of what little experience you have with vampires, what you presume is that Yazids. <laughs> <laughs> vampires are very protective of their blood. Typically, when a vampire bites somebody, that person becomes vampire spawn. <laughs> And when the vampire spawn ingests vampire blood, they become full-fledged vampires. Uh, vampires are typically very unwilling to relinquish relinquish this kind of control over the spawn and spread the affliction. So uh, yeah. it's just kind of a natural vampiric thing. Can I convince them? You can roll a persuasion check. Yeah. Okay. Please lend me some of your blood. I just want to help you out and see if we can figure out what caused this off. At the word help, you see a little glimmer of hope in his eyes. And then... <laughs> what if it dies. <laughs> Eleven. No. You have not convinced him. Okay. I don't think you would. I don't think that would be appropriate. Alright. Or acceptable. Or in any circumstance that would That's fine. ever happen. I, I, no, I am a doctor. doctor. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I'm a seasoned uh, detective. Uh, and if there's one thing I've learned about uh, 
approaching a crime or disappearance is that uh, time is of the essence. I would ask that we attend to any and all questions and answer immediately. Actually, the first 24 hours after disappearance are the most important. <laughs> <laughs> and that is long since past. 48. 48 hours after disappearance is long Isn't it different if it's a child? I think so. Uh, I'm pretty know. sure we're not in this world, and I'm pretty sure we're in your world, and I've decided that your world doesn't fucking matter, Duncan. You've decided in my I world. Know. I don't know. Please. Wow. That's... I just... Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> So, I've grown tired of these niceties. We, uh, niceties? You guys are asking legitimate questions. <clears throat> We're eating dinner and sitting down and asking for your blood. I'm, <laughs> I'm playing with the door. Everyone the is sneaking around. This is ridiculous. We need to uh, attend to the issue at hand. You know, this is a lot like the play I was a part of two years ago <laughs> called The Vampire and the Housewife. And <laughs> what happened was it was the butler who did it all. Reginald! <laughs> Philly. <laughs> and then smiles and shakes his head and says, that's not possible. Okay, it must be different this time. <laughs> <clears throat> not everything you acted will become true. This is a I very... just thought there was a similarity. Yeah. Uh, by the way, are you acting right now? Or <clears throat> are you just yourself? You see, I'm what is called a method actor. So I'm getting into the... Uh, into the uh, emotions and the world of an adventure and someone who's investigating a tragedy. And to do that, I'm trying, we're, I, I'm trying to get into what's happening now to help out. So you're acting right now? Somewhat. Is this for a- another role that you have in the future? It will help me train. It does help me train for a role I'm auditioning for. What role? Damn it! We don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that, we'll go to you, Charlotte. <clears throat> what do you want to do? What are you doing with the door? Fiddling. You're fiddling <laughs> with the door. I walk around the door. I check all the. I check the hinges to see if there's anything peculiar about it. The hinges are facing the other way, so you can't actually access the lock. The door's open inwards. <clears throat> I checked my pocket watch to see how much time has elapsed. <laughs> About seven or ten minutes has passed since you snuck out. I anticipate that you guys will be coming soon. You are probably correct. <laughs> so you best act fast. We are there. <laughs> <laughs> Philippe is behind you. <laughs> you have been stabbed. <laughs> I do a back <laughs> handspring already... out of the way to so it looks like I'm coming from inside. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Do you want me to roll acrobatics? Yes, please. I'm lonely. That would be a 24. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. You do triple somersault backflip across the room. Philippe does not notice. <laughs> and you, you're golden. You can just walk back into the dining room. I do as such. undetected. Cool. You walk in right as the rest of these guys are finishing up their chat. I'm downing up more wine. <laughs> we have no more time for wine. We must continue on. Let me be. Con save? Yeah. 24. You're not feeling anything yet. I feel like we're rolling really hot. Yeah, you guys are doing good. Is there a drink? Ah. Uh, what, so, where where are we going first, Philippe? Are we going to go see your sister? Do you think she'll have more answers for us? Or? It's possible, but I haven't been able to get much sense out of her. If she'll follow me, <coughs> and he slides back from, <laughs> from, the, from the table, gets up and walks into the main room. <laughs> you guys are about to go into... The main entryway. Philippe is, <laughs> Philippe is leading the way into the foyer and he's going to unlock the key doors. So I call Jinx back to my shoulder. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, he's actually kind of floating about a foot off of my shoulder. It's All very right. noticeable. <laughs> Did you notice it? It's a foot, man. <clears throat> a, a decent distance. Jinx is man, also man, sort man. of flapping his wings to try and maintain the illusion. <laughs> Okay. 
Um, everybody roll a perception check, please. Oh, I understand. Okay. <laughs> Except for Wait. you, Louis. You don't have to. No, but it is actually, I think it's an investigation. Is it an investigation? Investigation. It's an investigation. Even better. 24. 4. 25. <laughs> okay. uh, 3. I have an 18. Oh, and those three. Yeah. It's like, how do you get to that? Yeah, it's investigation. Okay. Just need you they have to be quick 15. investigation check there, guy. Yeah, sorry about that. It's all good. Don't worry, buddy. You're going to have to edit some stuff. Yeah, that's fine. That is a 16. Everybody except for Charlotte notices that <laughs> Jinx is, for some reason, flapping his wings while sitting on Luth's shoulder and looking closer you see that Jinx's feet are actually inside of his shoulder. Luth! What, uh... <laughs> what's wrong with your pseudo dragon? I gotta just fucking, like, give myself a little shake and he'll flap off and be like, what? <laughs> your dragon was inside of your shoulder. Inside that's of that's him. weird. <laughs> Trust me, we're aware. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> Are you hiding something from us? Why would I do that? I have nothing to hide. <laughs> Deception. <laughs> you to roll insight. Yeah, I'd like to roll yeah, insight. by your insight. 11. 21. 13 plus... Yeah. 17. 16. You all know that he is fucking bullshitting. <laughs> this house is full of lies! <laughs> <laughs> you will tell us the truth now! I would have rolled like. You have no idea what's going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> Not a fucking clue. <laughs> that is nothing you need to know. We are all in this together now. We must trust each other. We all we are all one party. We all need to be in terms with everyone else. Method actors. Exactly. <laughs> I say <laughs> fine. As I uh, dispel disguise self and I fill out into my six foot. 220 pound form. And, oh my god! <laughs> and like, what? handsome face, I'm no longer looking like an old man. My god, you're swole. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you hide this from us? This is a great advantage. You could easily best any foe. This form is not advantageous to myself anymore. I have many questions. <laughs> Philippe turns around. He rolled in that one on his investigation, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and he sees you, and he's like, my god! <laughs> what, where did you, who are you? And what happened to that old man? <laughs> we could use someone like you in the after skilled. <laughs> <laughs> that path of life is not for me. <laughs> I turn around, holy fuck, you're big. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is old. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this. <laughs> Let us move on. Okay, Philly leads you guys out of the dining room and into <laughs> the foyer where he pulls out a pretty fancy wrought iron key and unlocks the, the doors, the double doors. I should have pickpocketed. Good. I turned and myself into an old man again, too. Uh, okay. <laughs> Actually, I have a question. I forgot about an ability I have it's called Portent. Uh, would you consider this sitting down and eating to have been a short rest? Yeah, I would consider that a short rest. Okay, uh, I get to roll 2d20s. Okay. And I can use... Actually, I think it's 3. Yeah, so I roll 3d20s, and I can replace any roll uh, for the rest of the day with one of those rolls. Okay. So I'm do that now. Yeah, it's that's actually a fucking dope skill. And I roll great, 10, 11, 15. So you can just use those rolls. At any point for for until I take another rest. <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's fucking great. What the fuck? That's for divination. Yeah, so I can replace any roll. I have to do it before I make the roll go. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. not a good So you, you choose to be like, oh, I'm taking this roll. Exactly. It's mm. the, it's, but it's like the only thing Divination gets. So it's really good, but it's like the only really good thing yeah, you yeah. get. Ah. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> okay, sorry, I just want to get that out of the way. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, so Philippe unlocks the double doors. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> and opens them up. They swing wide. And it leads into a small, narrow hallway. 
It's pretty dark, pretty dingy. There's a couple of calendars on each. Calendars, sorry, candles. Calendars, <laughs> 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 family calendars, like staples, Stables, family, family pictures. pictures. <laughs> someone of nature. <laughs> There's some firemen. <laughs> yeah. Um, There's a Nintendo <laughs> calendar. Nice. Yeah. Some animals. Notice your bulge. Stop. Some chocolate. A bunch of chocolate factories from the movie Chocolate Chocolate Factories in a hallway? No, on the calendar, bro. (laughs) Anyway, there's a few flickering calendars. (laughs) Candles. Candles. (laughs) Why? (laughs) Oh my god, this campaign has been a bundle of (laughs) the hallway. (laughs) And all all you see at the other end of the hallway is a, a set of smaller doors, um, Philippe walks towards them and opens them, they weren't locked, and leads you guys out into this enormous ballroom. There's a second, uh, up above you is a balcony, which you presume, you know, bystanders could go up there and watch the deaths going on below on the main floor. It's held up with these, it's also where the politicians do. It's, it's held up by these 12 to 15 ornate marble columns, and the, the floor is as polished marble that you can see a reflection in the floor. <clears throat> At the other end of the room is basically a wall made out of windows. Um, there is a door that you can lead out onto a balcony and overlook the open field and in the distance of forest. However, your attention is diverted away from this magnificent ballroom to a figure in the center of the ballroom, a girl about 16 years old. <clears throat> Shockingly beautiful. Dark hair. Suspended in the air. Held up by chains. Two of them. One on each wrist. Anchored in the wall. <laughs> on each side. Can you imagine it's incredibly uncomfortable for her to be suspended in the air like this with the chains pulling on her wrists? Upon closer inspection, you can see that the skin on her arms has been rubbed raw, and she's pooling blood onto the floor. And she is just screaming. Bloody murder. Wait, you <laughs> monster, what, what, what have you done to this fair maiden? I, I run over to the lady and ask her, you, Miss, are you uncomfortable? You get about 20 feet away from her, and are stopped by a some kind of magical force. Mm, I thought that. I investigate that. Ooh, no, that's my thing. I... <laughs> okay, I'm just I sleuth. <laughs> I sleuth. <laughs> sleuth. I, wait, I shut I don my hat of sleuthing. Sleuthing. Philippe turns to you guys and says, I would like you to meet my sister, Eliora. And why would Eliora be in change here? Your guess is as good as mine. Why have we not tried to get her out? We have. Did you not just see this young lady attempt to approach her and bounce off? Excuse me, she's older than you. I think. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Charlotte? <clears throat> 23 and a quarter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, young lady. Whatever. She's a noble. Um, yeah. Can I, can I try casting Spell Magic? I think I took that spell too, didn't I? No, I didn't. No, because... Right. Yeah, I have it. Spell uh, <laughs> so, so. Can I cast Counter Spell? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, choose one creature or object or magical effect within the range. Any spell of third level or lower on the target ends for each spell of fourth level or higher. And the target make an ability check using your spellcast modifier. Spellcasting ability, the DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. On a successful check, the spell ends. At higher levels, when you cast the spell using a spell slot at fourth level or higher, higher, you will automatically end the effects on a spell on the target mm-hmm. if the spell's level is equal to two or less than the level of the spell okay. slot you use. So it's just like counter spell. Yeah. 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 And I'm using this at fifth level. Go for it. See what happens. Okay, I use it. You have to roll for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's higher than fifth level, I guess. Yeah, that's what it is. Oof. 
That is a... 12. 12. Okay, nothing happens. Can I... And you get the sense that this is kind of beyond your scope with this spell. Even if you've been successful, it probably would have done a whole lot. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I, uh, I approach and I may, may I make an arcana check to determine what this is? Yeah, make an arcana check. Can I as well? <coughs> Go for it. I'm actually, yeah, you know what, this is important, so I'm going to take the 11, plus 10 is 21. Um, I got 26. You fucking piece of garbage. <laughs> Alright. You don't need to come in here trying to steal my thing. I do. Just, just, that's, so you guys... You. You guys sense that this is a good aligned type of magic. Um, this wasn't like necromancy. This wasn't put on her by a demon or a fiend. This was someone, a good alignment who cast a spell on her. <coughs> you don't know what the spell is. You get the sense that is this is a very powerful enchantment, multiple spells layered over each other. And you notice that Right around where Charlotte is are many, many rooms carved, in, carved into the floor. Can I possibly, if I use <coughs> teleportation, can I get inside? Because if so, I, I'll tell him to back away and I'll yes. cast Thunder Step. I could cast uh, Diamond from Dora too. That works. And yeah. that means all, like, all of us could walk through. Oh, okay. You guys, guys when we get her out, I can put on some shackles. <laughs> Her wrists are bleeding, Charlotte. <laughs> They're... <laughs> Why should we put this poor girl in shackles after freeing her from shackles? Philippe turns to you guys, they and you can see handcuffs. some desperation in his eyes. And he pleads to you, if there's any way that you can get her out of there, we would forever be in your debt. This is beyond my scope. Reginald Scope. None Reginald does magic. None of us. I knew he could hold his nine plates. That's a fucking lie. I knew it's magic. Um, I imagine him casting fireball. <laughs> something tells over here. You might be able to do something about this, but as it stands, there's nothing we can do. So if you guys can help, something tells why is this screaming he, chick in the <laughs> dome to begin with? Yes. Do you know why if she's like I that, or why if she's screaming? The same night I woke up. <laughs> As a vampire, I walked down here and found her like this. So she's been like this for a month or so? About 30 three days. Weeks. Three, three weeks. weeks. Something tells me that if we try and like, <laughs> teleport into this, we'll be I skipping think. several plot points that would have led up to us getting inside the spear. <laughs> so let's just do You it. think he hasn't thought of that? <laughs> uh, dimension door. At this point, she has no screaming, by the way. It's not like she's constantly screaming. So, like, oh, okay. As she... I thought it was like a three-week continuum. No, no, no. no. Um, <laughs> otherwise... on the same note. Like, uh, you, guys, as, you guys probably would have heard it as you approached the manor. Like, if the shepherd boy heard it halfway to the fucking town. Um, you get the sense that this is kind of like a scream of desperation. And she just keeps going and going. Um, is she broke the argument? Sick. She is not. She, like, she doesn't talk, she can't communicate in any way. And that is where we're going to leave this episode of Nat 20. Boy! I'm in love with this woman. Can someone pass me a beard? She has a very beautiful name. <laughs>